Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's studio vlog there's going to be a mixture of different things. I'm going to be looking at an old picture book illustration, kind of revamping and redoing some of that. Um, there's also some footage of me and Tom going to one of our favourite places which is an animal sanctuary and there's also going to be some Etsy packing footage as well. Some of the footage is old footage that I thought I had lost um, and in fact if you're a bit of a detective you might be able to spot that there is some Union Jack bunting which was when the Jubilee, like Queen's Jubilee happened. So that was back in June. But yeah, if you're an old subscriber, you might remember me working on a project called Mother Seagull and the Ocean King. So that is like a modern day folk tale slash fairy tale about this kind of mysterious and ominous Ocean King who comes along and steals Mother Seagull's eggs and then she's trying to get them back. Yeah, with the help of lots of other sea creatures. So quick bit of backstory in case you missed the other vlogs. So this is a personal project that I was working on um, with another writer that I know. We worked on it for a couple of years and then we decided to pitch it to some agents. We got a bit of feedback. Nobody wanted to publish it, unfortunately. And now the plan is to self-publish it. I am probably going to be doing print on demand self-publishing because if you don't know, me and Tom are actually planning on moving in a couple of months. So I do not want to be having a whole like load of books in our house that I then have to store. Yeah, and then pack up when we move. So this project was on pause for a really long time and then when I went back to it and decided I wanted to self-publish it there was a few illustrations that I kind of wanted to change, some that I just wanted to tweak a little bit and others that I wanted to kind of completely redo. So here's one of the illustrations that I wanted to redo. But yeah I was fairly happy with this, this illustration but I wanted to add some more detail and so this is the new improved version so yeah I'm going to be sharing like a time lapse of that and I'm also going to be sharing some completely new illustrations um, also some end papers that I worked on anyway so we're going to start off with Emma from the past who has different hair and is just starting this project after it's been paused for a very long time. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. I have got a pile of pitch books here. I am going to be looking at the ends pages in these. End pages, end papers, whatever you want to call them, because I'm going to be designing some end pages end papers for Mother Seagull and the Ocean King. Um, yeah, so it has been a really long time. Now the battery is flashing at me <laughs> and I feel like we have a lot of catching up to do. So I'm just going to go and change the battery. Hang on. Okay, we have a nice full battery so we can get into it and in case you're new and yeah, well new since nine months ago, I can catch you up on what was happening with Mother Seagull and the Ocean King. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that I've already mentioned that we had a little bit of feedback from some of the agents that we submitted to. A lot of the agents basically just said that they get hundreds and hundreds of submissions and so we didn't get feedback exactly but we had a response at least. But yeah, so the project's been on pause for a while whilst I do other things and I was thinking it's about time that I get it finished. I put so much work into it and now and then I still get messages from people asking like oh is the book available on your Etsy shop or you know wanting to know updates about the book project and yeah I put a lot of work into it I learned a lot of things along the way um, so I've decided that I am going to self-publish it. Now this is something I have been thinking about for a few months and slightly putting it off <laughs> because it's kind of 
I don't know, is this big kind of scary, overwhelming thing. And even though, like I said, I essentially finished all the illustrations, there's still then a lot to do if you're gonna self-publish it because you need to do marketing and you need to also actually put the book like together um, in some kind of software. I also, like I said, I still need to do the end pages. I also decided from some of the feedback that I got to make a few changes to some of the illustrations. So I have been doing a little bit of work here and there. Um, I actually have been doing some stuff on my iPad. So maybe I'll share some of that already so I'm not just a talking head. Yeah, so I wanted to add some more detail to some of the illustrations. So one of the illustrations I changed quite a bit was early on where Mother Seagull is looking for food and she's flying above um, like the beach and then you've got the grass with all these little huts. Um, I just wanted to add a lot more detail. I ended up putting lots of flowers kind of making it look a bit more like a meadow and sort of making it look a bit more wild and I also added some more details to the huts made it look more like they had like planks of wood and I did details on the roofs and just made them a lot more kind of cuter more like little kind of I don't know like cottages or little sort of like wooden huts what else I think I also moved the crab away from the middle of the page like the gutter because that was something that I kept thinking about like I don't want important bits of the illustration to kind of be lost in the middle of the page or to get like cut off um, when it gets like trimmed and stuff anyway like I said I'm going to be working on the end pages today but yeah I just kind of wanted to chat about a few different things um, I wanted to chat about kind of not waiting for permission so if there's something that you really wanted to do um but you kind of think oh no i can't do that uh, for example like if you're trying to publish a book and you don't have anyone who like wants to publish it and you can't do that traditionally then like you can do it yourself like i've been re-watching some of friends old videos and i remember her talking about Alice in Wonderland and how she's always wanted to illustrate it and like not waiting for like someone to hire her to illustrate it like if there's a project that you want to do just illustrate it yourself also if there is a project that you were coming back to make it easy for yourself so sometimes it can be overwhelming to either start something new that you don't really know what you're doing which I have those kind of uh, feelings a lot and you know you, or you have like a big project that you want to take on um, that has like lots of different parts to it it can all it can sometimes feel a bit overwhelming so yeah if you have a project like that then break it down into different steps um, so I've been making a list of all the things that I need to do to get this book ready so I've been making some changes to the illustrations. so I basically I went through all the illustrations and made lists of different things that I wanted to do where I wanted to like add some more shadow to like the sand and the sea um, maybe go over some lines and things make things stand out more or just add some more detail like add some more shells to the sand or some more fish or just make the illustration generally a bit more interesting and give whoever's reading it uh, whether that be a child or an adult um just like more things to kind of notice on the page because that's one of the things i really love about picture books and illustrations it's like all the different things that you can notice in an illustration um but yeah i just i really like detailed illustrations that you can kind of get lost in I wanted to share some other improvements that I've made with the illustrations. Some of them are quite subtle. For example, like this one where all the seagulls come together on the beach. So this one I was fairly happy with, but the sky was looking quite flat. Part of my style is I like having kind of block colors 
but yeah it was just looking a bit too flat so I decided to add some clouds and also some silhouettes of some birds in the distance um, and I think it just adds some more depth and some interest to the illustration and then I just also added some more shadow to the sand so not a whole lot of change in this one but I do think if you look at them side by side it does make a big difference. A couple of the illustrations I wasn't happy with the composition so I've just completely redrawn them. In this illustration I wanted to show the day turning into night so I ended up using the clone brush on the iPad to copy some of the texture of the pencils and then I've drawn the detail on top of that. So I added a cliff and some more of the colourful houses and then also some fairy lights and some stars just to make this like a really exciting spread and just have lots of different things to look at. So this one isn't completely finished. I still need to then add Mother Sea Yole onto the beach. Overall, I am a lot happier with how this illustration has turned out and I think it was definitely worth redrawing it. But yeah, I am determined to actually get this finished. <laughs> um, and yeah, because I think I'd really like to see it like physical, physical, uh, physically, I was trying to say physical and physically. <laughs> I'd like to see it physically in my hands as a book. Yeah, and I'd like other people to be able to order it as well and enjoy it. So I have got a load of books and I'm going to have a look at the end pages. Um, but yeah, so quite often end pages, they can be like patterns or things like that. And I was kind of thinking maybe I could do a pattern with like the different fish in the story that might be a good idea obviously yeah so mother seagull on the ocean king there's you know there's the ocean there's a lot of fish <laughs> in the scene so maybe i don't know maybe i could do fish and seagulls and some of the other creatures and like put them together in a pattern but yeah this is the end papers for this book it's a very lovely but yeah, this is kind of like a folk style pattern. But yeah, so I've been having a look through the picture books I've got. It's quite a lot of the, my picture books that are paperbacks. Um, they don't all seem to have end papers. This is the book that Xanthi illustrated. But yeah, so she has done end pages, even though this is a paperback. So obviously, yeah, so this is just printed on the reverse rather than being like glued on. But that's really fun. It's got like lots of pumpkins and stars and crowns and things. Yeah, grab that rabbit. I love Bryony Mae Smith and I really love this book. These end papers are just so lovely. It's just a whole bunch of vegetables because the rabbit's like stealing the vegetables. And then here's Hop. And it's just so lovely but yeah so some of the vegetables they're like repeated but like just twisted round and stuff um and i like it on the white background as well so yeah maybe i could just do something like that like a whole different load of fish um just kind of like floating about maybe i don't know um this has just got a ghost pattern which is quite fun. But yeah, so you can just have end papers that have a colour. I'm pretty sure I've got another one that's just got a colour in it. Which one is it? But yeah, this one's just also got a colour for the end pages. So yeah, you could just have a block colour. There are a few ideas uh, to get you started if you're also interested in <laughs> making end papers. I don't know when that stopped recording. <laughs> I hope it's only just stopped. Um, so I was just saying how I drew the original illustrations in coloured pencil but then when I've been going back and making a few changes I've actually been using my trusty iPad and that has actually been working really well. been making changes to that on the iPad which is a lot easier than drawing it all out again or like trying to go over things like traditionally so I think I'm gonna make the end papers on here 
um i might just go through and see if there's any like characters or fish that i can copy and like put together as a pattern but yeah i think i've probably been waffling on <laughs> for long enough so yeah i think i'm gonna get started on that I think what I might do is actually take some of the characters that I've already drawn, just kind of like cut them out and then arrange them together as a pattern. So I could take some of these seagulls, maybe also a couple of these shells and this crab and then yeah just kind of like put everything together with a white background and do a pattern. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Also. Also, April is keeping me virtually company, aka Monkey Mintaka. I have been working my way through all of her old studio vlogs, which I've already watched, <laughs> but she just makes really good chatty studio vlogs. I'm sure you already watch her, uh, but in case you don't, go and check her out. So this will keep me busy for a while. Also, I'm going to duplicate this and not just cut things out and then be like, ah, oh, that was my only copy. <laughs> I'm going to duplicate everything. Okay, let's get to it. some of the different characters on the iPad and then I moved over to Photoshop. Unfortunately I don't have the footage of me moving everything around to make the pattern but I can show you the final pattern here. As you can see I have mirrored the pattern so that it's slightly different on each page and on the right hand side I've added the crab just because I thought that that looked quite fun. Yeah we're now going to have a lovely wholesome animal sanctuary break. Uh, some packing footage and then there'll be a bit more of the illustration stuff at the end. I don't know if it's really dark or if that's because I've got sunglasses on. <laughs> I think that's just because of the sunglasses. Sam's driving. Uh, you probably can't hear me. I've got the window open. It is very warm in the car. Uh, but I'm excited to see the piggies. What are you excited to see, Tom? Yeah. Tom is excited to see the yeah. Is that like a yeti? food to give you yet. Mm. A man with foods. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> that is a lot of beans. <laughs> that looks good. I'm sorry, I thought you were sleeping. Are you coming to say hello? Hello. Hello. Hi. Do you want to smell my hand? <laughs> Do you for something? You're trying to find a nice spot. Oh, he wants to bevy himself on now. <laughs> Says they have a terrapin. Are these over here? But being very still, they might be statues or they might be real terrapins, I'm not sure. The dog's getting on well as we get out there. Yeah. Oh, they've quietened down now, haven't they? Where are they? Well, they saw us, didn't they? So <laughs> people. <laughs> We've got a nice big stick. I think there's... Is there three? 
inside. Yeah. Yeah. No. The, yeah. There's oh, two, two, two up. up yeah. Two little ones that have to go in it to eat it, and then one long one. Or one tall one. I think there were more. Have they gone behind the. Oh, hello. <laughs> way more than it. Like I say, as soon as they're fetched. Yeah, they just appear. appear from... <laughs> <laughs> Is he talking to one over there? Yeah, look, they're coming. Do they think it's dinner time? No, because they're coming slowly. But the fact that one of them came, it makes yeah. the other ones think it could be time. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. And none of them like to be left there. <laughs> oh, you're all so pretty. I'm going to get poked in the ear. Mm -hmm. Hello. Are you Lara? No, oh, Lara's a cow. Says sheep. Lara is a sheep. Lara and the delicate sheep. Lara is a cow. Oh. Oh, well done. I didn't, I didn't pick up that this was an act. You're pretty. <laughs> Say cow. Are you going to get your whole indignant fierce? Yeah, thing? I was like, it doesn't even Oh, look at his going up and down. This is a very nice. <laughs> Tom. It is windy out here. Whenever I edit footage back when it's windy, I'm like, why am I talking? <laughs> Nobody can hear us. So maybe we should just smile and wave, boys. <gasps> I got my 10,000 steps. Yay. We are heading towards, uh, I think there might be emus. Is an emu a bird? Yes, sir. Let me, like, are they emus? It is two. It kind of looks like just one. They like being next to each other. Are they being sneaky? <laughs> Maybe they're being sneaky. <laughs> Look at its wings. Hello. They look funny, don't they? I think just I'm not used to really seeing. Like they're just so. It's such a big bird. They're not horses. It says so. Are you a horse expert? It's an emu. Are you a horse expert? I'm not, I'm not a horse expert. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Piggy. It's okay. You keep snoozing, you snooze. It's after lunch, after lunch nap, isn't it? Oh, you're getting up. You're going to make everyone get up now. Oh, nice big stretch. <gasps> he nudged him! He's just going around like... He's making him come up! <laughs> Do you like your mud lying on that one? Yeah. Are they waking them up? <laughs> <laughs> You're a troublemaker. There's a duck. Does it think it's a pig? Oh yeah. Oh that is going to be a muddy duck. Do you think you're a piggy? Do you think you're a piggy? Let everybody wake up. <laughs> just like, does anyone want to play? Oh, maybe. <laughs> I've, I've had a sleep. Anyone else done? Show me where the ending goes 
honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Hello, Ramona I mistook you for a dream The engine glows And I guess you always seem to know Hello, Ramona Hi everyone, I'm filming on my phone currently But yes, we are actually in Wales on holiday right now I didn't bring my camera with me because I didn't actually want to film this trip I did just want to give you an update on how the mother seagull stuff is going so the yeah I feel like I've created a couple of illustrations that I'm really happy with at the moment and I feel like I've kind of got a bit more of that spark back for it and my plan was to do like a couple of small changes to the illustrations that I already had um, because I've as you possibly know, I have spent a long time working on the illustrations um, over, you know, on and off over a couple of years. And so the plan was just make a couple of changes to the illustrations I'd already done on the iPad. I was happy with some of the original illustrations and I made a few changes and I thought that really improved them like even more. But there's always when you when you're doing like a series of illustrations um there's always going to be some that you're not quite happy with and i just had a couple of illustrations through the book that i just thought weren't really that interesting so i've actually created like um two whole new illustrations for that yeah this is one of the new illustrations that i've been working on and i've actually done all of this on the ipad but i ended up using like the clone tool um just to kind of clone some of the pencil sort of like textures and stuff from other things so i like cloned some of the sand and the sea and stuff like that and then i've you know then drawn on top of it this looks so much better and maybe i'll show you like a time lapse as well but if i show you the original i was gonna have this page so the text is the waves crept closer and closer and still closer until they washed away her nest with the three precious silver eggs and i think basically i did these little vignettes um just because i remember reading that you should have different types of illustrations like you should have like full page spreads and little spot illustrations and vignettes it's basically the the text and the illustration in this example it just shows it's doing the same job like it shows the same thing and that's not really what i want to do so i've actually done two new illustrations so i'm gonna have this one oops which is going to be on the left this one i'm really really happy with i think it looks really cool and ominous and also i really another thing i wanted to work on was like emotion so i've made the crab like scared because he can see like the shadow of the ocean king coming along and so this is going to be to go with the text that says the what is it this the waves crept closer i just thought that this doesn't it's not exactly the same as the text because even though it says the waves crept closer i've got the shadow of the ocean king so it just makes it a bit more interesting a bit more kind of ominous with the shadow and then i'm gonna have this on the opposite page and then i'm gonna have some text up here saying about it washing the eggs away but i just think that this is a much more kind of dramatic scene and i just need the last bit i need to do <laughs> this is my little rough sketch of the crab i just need to do my tiny little crab here but yeah i'm just so happy with how this has turned out but yeah i think it's really gonna improve the whole book and I'm, I'm really excited 
to see how it's all gonna come together now. There's a few more bits I need to work on. I haven't been drawing the whole holiday, don't worry. Uh, we've been going on lots of walks, which is why I'm sunburned. I don't know if you can really tell, um, but yes, I'm a bit sunburned. Um, we've been eating lots of nice food. Nobody's here right at the moment. They've, um, everybody else has gone on a walk because they're taking the dog out. Um, but yeah, I've been doing like little bits of drawing like in the morning and the evening. Tom's been going on like long runs in the morning, so I've been drawing then. He did ask if I wanted to run with him, but um, I, I was good. <laughs> I did go, I did do park run though. We, um, yeah, we found a park run near to where we're on holiday. So we did a park run on Saturday. I think I'm going to try and do some kind of like launch week. So I don't know, maybe this video will be day number one. Maybe the book will be out already. Um, I don't, current me, current me doesn't know. Maybe editing Emma will butt in and tell you if you can actually go and buy this book. Which, yeah, I would really appreciate. So it would be, yeah, if you want to, like, support me and support this channel and get my very first book, which is, like, yeah, an exciting milestone. Um, anyway, I'm going to go. going to finish off doing that crab and then people will probably be back. Also, the washing's on. I hope you can't hear that. <laughs> okay, editing Emma is back. So the book isn't completely finished yet. I've still got a few more illustrations I want to sort of work on. But yeah, I'm determined to get this finished this year. Even if I get it finished on the very last day of December, <laughs> I will be happy. But hopefully I get it finished before then. But yeah, I was thinking of holding on to this footage and putting it like all together in one vlog and being like, look, I made a book and just kind of drop the information on you. I just remember something Andy J Pizza said about how we're not Beyonce and we can't just release an album, like just drop an album without anybody knowing about it and then everybody rushes out to buy it. Yeah, so I thought I should have at least a tiny bit of a build up before the book is ready, but I am planning on hopefully self-publishing it very, very soon. And yeah, I'd love to know if you're excited for the book. I'd love to know if you remember me working on it before, if you're an old subscriber. Also let me know if you enjoyed seeing like the sort of life vloggy bits like at the animal sanctuary. Yeah, I always enjoy putting those bits in as kind of like memories to look back on as well. Yeah, I'm sending you lots of love. I hope you've had a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, that is zoomed in. That is zoomed in. <laughs> Zoom out. No, it's in again. Ouch. Ouch! Is it going out? I just hate me longer arms. arms. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my cup of tea. I made my cup of tea ages ago. I probably am gonna have to microwave it and Tom's gonna turn me off. <laughs> because I forget about my tea. And I've just walked up the stairs. I'm a little bit out of breath. Um, uh, first of all, it's like a modern sort of fairy tale about a seagull. She's protecting her eggs, but then goes away to look for, fru for food. For, for food? And then I moved over to Photoshop. So unfortunately, I don't have the fo footage. footage. <laughs> this room is getting very bright. <laughs> Let me sort the exposure out a little bit if we can. Does that look okay? Maybe I just look very angelic, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, and now I'm really dark. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to sh do a film of the nice, like, quaint town, and then it's like, Costa. <laughs> and then left? Yes. Oh! <laughs> you're trying to do anything to make me smile I'll have a cup of tea while you have a latte for both you and me the caffeine will make sure that you don't fall asleep cause darling you're sleepy eyes are closing